and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. We're going to be heading on over to Bilgewater for this Vladimir Swain deck because we got a lot of synergy with this kind of deck. We've played it, we've played it before, but we have it uh, updated and tuned and we're going to try it again. So basically we're going to have the brand new uh, self-damage units. I guess it depends on your definition of brand new, but the newer self-damage units like Krusty Codger, when you play it, deals two to itself. Boxtopus deals three to itself. You have Fortune Croaker that can do one to itself and to an ally and draw cards. That's another two damage. So all of that, all those cards are good with both of our champions. With Vladimir, we need our allies to survive. We need five plus allies to survive damage to level up Vladimir. Each time we play one of these, that's an ally surviving damage. The Swain needs uh, 12 non-combat damage to be dealt to be uh, to level up. And that does count as non-combat damage. So like the Boxtopus, you know, whenever we play Boxtopus, deals three to the Boxtopus. That's three out of the 12 right there for leveling up. So both of our champions should level up pretty quickly from these cards. We even have um, like a Monkey Idol. Round start deals two to itself. So that's a, that's a way for it to both uh, level up both champions, survive damage and deal damage to itself. And of course, like the last breath with the Powder Monkey, that's also non-combat damage. Uh, we have Transfusion in here dealing uh, damage to our own things. We have Demolitionist that can do damage to our own things, then Enemy Nexus, and so on. And, and uh, so, yeah, so we're, we're going to try to level up both of our champions and then have uh, Swain with the Nexus Strike uh, be able to do that. But then also, like, whenever we do non-combat damage to the Enemy Nexus with our leveled up Swain, we're stunning stuff, which, of course, that's easy to do with the Leviathan first and foremost. But besides that... Jack the Winner can create the Sleep with the Fishes that can do Nexus damage. We have the Demolitionist doing Nexus damage, Death's Hand, Noxion Fervor. Those can be doing some Nexus damage. And then, of course, Monkey Idol, the Powder Monkeys, whenever they die, that's Nexus damage. So that's all ways to be able to stun things and also all ways to turn on Plunder, right? So we, we need a lot of Nexus damage for Citrus Courier, for Plunder. That's going to be kind of a key part here. Because if all of our if all of our allies are like self damaging them themselves and we like they're all damaged, then we can if we can turn on plunder, we can play the citrus courier, heal them all for three. So now they have a bunch of health, also, and then we get to rally, get to attack again, and you know, maybe get additional attack in with Vladimir, getting that attack ability, uh, that could be really cool. Because we can do like one attack with like a Vladimir and do drain damage from the enemy nexus, deal damage to some things that would survive. And then since the, it was damaged to the enemy nexus, now we play the citrus courier, heal them all for three, attack again. That could be really cool. So we have, we have some like really cool synergies with the deck. Whether or not it will be enough to win the games and you know be powerful enough for that, we'll see. But a bunch of like really cool little synergies and, and I like it. So let's go play some five games over in ranked with Vladimir Swain. No, Fiorishen. This is the deck that dominates small unit decks. And our deck is filled with small units. So that is a very bad sign for me. Um, just mulligan the five mana cards. Vladimir would be the one out of the two that I would probably keep, but um, we have the three Vladimir, the three Swain, the one Jack the winner. It's not too difficult to find another five drop. I wanted to find other another card to go along with this fortune croaker. With a little time, I'll have a break. All right, predictions are up. I'm right, just gonna keep the three mana for Death's Hand available. I want to play Monkey Idol on their turn, ideally. Because basically, I don't want to play Monkey Idol right here, and then they play Fiora. One balance. I didn't really want that to happen. Swain, you're at four. I sense an imbalance. Maybe I should have blocked Shen with a two-one. Yeah, maybe I should just block with a 2 1 and made Swain a 3 3. 
So that levels up Swain. I told your ancestors to protect. See, I don't know if we're gonna win, but like this stuff's pretty cool. Our, our deck's cool. Okay. A win streak. I was expecting them to use some kind of barrier and stuff. But yeah, you know, have them waste the mana. I don't need to, like, try to play Death Sand right there, and then they get to use all that mana that they were going to waste. Anyway. So two ways to go about it. I can use the Death's Hand to, to kill their Shen also. Um, and then they, they both die. Or I could go the Transfusion, and then what, Swain goes to 9 health? And so Swain doesn't die with the Transfusion. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. I guess I should kill Shen before Shen levels up. I guess we kill Shen. I don't know, it's a tough call. Their time has come. Such little luck. Keep up, keep up. Et Lau, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. That is your ninth month. Wow, that is so many months. You are amazing, Atlao. Thank you very much. All right, so they got this little blocker over here. I don't change faith, but I can see it. Oh, that was the card I wanted last turn. That's okay. That can be good. Let's do this. No, I don't attack with those. that I needed that for the Nexus damage so then then you know like we would citrus courier here that's what I was planning um but I'll just play Leviathan a gift from the river folk <sighs> that would have been a cool citrus courier Dark in the skies. we should still have a pretty cool citrus courier That's good for me. That's going to kill their thing. Because that'll take out the barrier. Water changes, but never breaks. There we go. GG's. 
Wow, what a good win. We beat Fiora Shen. We didn't play Fiora. Or any challengers. So that really helped. Yeah, so that so there was a dragon attacking a ship. And we just gave a transfusion of some extra blood to the ship, and then it survived the dragon attack. Okay, I don't really know how that works, but that worked. Callista Twisted Fate. I don't know if they're going to be like a Go Hard deck or like a Fearsome deck. I don't know. This is a hard, you know, difficult deck to mulligan against because I don't know exactly what's going to be going on. But good start. We had a we had a good mulligan with the Krusty Codger into Demolitionist. So okay, that's a Go Hard deck. It's got to be right, Coral Creatures. Remember the objective. So you have Coral Creatures try to create Go Hards for you. A few for the many. I don't know. If I just pass, they pass. That's that's fine. Okay. I want like if they. I wanted to see if they would play Callista and odd box to post challenge the Callista. I could go fervor, have my demolition just kill their one two, but it's just a one two. Yeah, your coral. Yeah, same. Your coral creatures just always makes jettison for me too. They had they had mark of the isles there, so that's good. That's definitely a good hit. Should be transfusion. We have the two mana for the transfusion. So let's see, we're at three out of five. So if I go transfusion on the spray fin and then that, then then we're looking at getting five out of five. If I go this way, we're only at four out of five. So I guess I want to go this way and save, you know, we'll save the box to puss. Let's make it five. That's always a great combination though. Withering Whale Powder Keg. That is a great combination. And I'll just block here before they they can easily kill my box to post with something else. Should be difficult for them to deal with this Vladimir for at least a little bit. I'd never keep my guests raising. Keep up, keep up. Delicious. Well, that's kind of cool. Try again. Spray fin, go grab oh, fading memories. acceptable. I'll wait on Fervor. Cannot Ruination with only eight mana. <laughs> I 
Definitely a go hard deck. Destination in sight. We play in bilge rules, son. So yeah, trying to have Wiggly Burblefish and Coral Creatures both create Gohards. That's their goal, it looks like. Give us some room. No, pack, pack your bags cost five mana. It, it, it can create Go Hard, which I guess would the Go Hard be then turned into. Like, if you cast three Go Hards and then you play a Burble Fish and it creates another Go Hard, I guess that would then turn into a Pack Your Bags, I guess? I'm not, I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. That makes sense for that last. So they want to block here, here. Yeah, okay. Game, that's game. There we go. All right, GG's two and O oh with Vladimir Swain. Awesome. Zoe Aurelian Soul. How are you doing today? This looks like a good hand. Should I just keep it all? Um, it could use like some more filler in between. But that's what our draws are for. You know, like we have something to play on two and three. We need something for four, but then we got five and six. Boxtopus can try to kill Zoe. Been Let his knee out. Like, Monkey Idol's, like, great for Vladimir and Citrus Courier, but it also is bad against Challengers, and so maybe against any Grand Plaza deck, maybe I'm supposed to be mulliganing it. But Boxtopus is a good answer to Zoe. They still are ahead, because I spent two mana, they spent one, and they also create a super cool star chart for hand, so, you know, like, it's... like. Even like best case scenario for us like this, it's still there. They come out way ahead. No plaza, no plaza, no plaza. Oh, boo. This has been kind of perfect for them, right? Zoe draws a card. Egghead Researcher draws a card. And then Grand Plaza, the card that's really broken. And then Solari Priestess, draw a card. There's a reason why I consider this to be, like, you know, Grand Plaza Targon, why I still consider it to be the best deck in all of Legends of Runeterra. I don't think I, like, I could box the plus challenge. I don't think I really want to do that. If they don't break, 
This should level up Swain by next turn. Make the Empire proud. And they were going to be able to, like, challenge and kill my monkey idol anyway. If they do some blocking, that'll level up my Vladimir, too. Not the egg. All right, so both my champions are leveled up. Her light is our sword, her wolf, our armor. How do you beat that card? Six five life steal. How do you beat that card? Radiant strikes. Yeah, what a what an amazing hand! Like, are they just gonna also have single combat too? Guess maybe I have to play Swain in case. Victory awaits. By my hand will Noxus rise. I will break them. All right, so no single combat's good. With me drawing the second Vladimir, I'm playing the first one so that my second Vladimir is going to be a transfusion to help protect against uh, Sharp Sight on their end. I just have it all. One suffers, another thrives. Bright light. Yeah, this this kind of hand, the, the deck, their deck with this kind of hand is unbeatable. All right, two and one. Nothing wrong with the two and one. Alright, I like this more. <laughs> this is anything but that last deck, basically. I like our chances a lot better. Alright, well, Mulligan the, the Citrus Courier. I, I think that that was kind of a good learning experience of me not keeping the Citrus Courier the last game. Boxtopus again can challenge a Zoe right away. The Fortune Croaker doesn't really go well with the Boxtopus, but I just want to keep... Like, two mana cards are pretty good to keep, so I'm going to just keep all of these, even though they don't. Uh, necessarily go perfectly together. I'm still good to okay, so we'll have Krusty Codger and Fortune Croaker next turn. Try to get some of the card advantage back that they get with Zoe. Zenith Blade. Okay. Now we have like the ability to really uh, use that box to push, box to push more than what we just did. Let's see. So box to push plus transfusion can take down the goat. Yeah, I guess I just do that. At least try that. I think because that's let's see. So that's like five power. So like they could have you know a pale cascade that doesn't stop that. No Equinox, please. No Equinox. They don't have the mana for the stun card. So this is kind of cool, like, playing these kind of cards, though, right? Like, our Vladimir is just always leveled up. Like, it's always just a 6-6 regen with that ability. 
that's pretty nice like about our deck that like our our two champions by playing these cards our two champions are basically just always leveled up Rats. That was the card that... That was the card that stopped that. So they had it. And they've had a perfect hand so far. Please no Lee Sin. Just don't play Lee Sin. You can't have Lee Sin plus ev everything else they've had, right? This is inviting the pass. No, I'm gonna play Vladimir. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Force is meaningless without skill. And they also had Lee Sin. And I'll change fate if I can see it. Turn one Zoe, turn two Mountain Goat, turn two turn three Zenith Blade it. Turn four. Cast your super cool star chart, have the hush, the only card that you can have to keep your goat alive. Turn five, now we got Lee Sin. And then turn six, now we got the the Zenith Blade for the Lee Sin. And we have all these gems now because of the goat. Yeah, there's not, not too much I can do about that. At least not having any spells. I had the transfusion, that was my only spell that I've drawn so far this game. You for the many. Yeah, I don't have any spells to target that anyway. War Mason, reporting for duty. Noxians ruin what they cannot understand. Ah, look at this reality! Look how sparkly! Hey, Greggies. Yeah, our last two opponents have had just perfect hands. They're both they're both incredibly good decks, but they have they've just had perfect hands. This attack puts him to three. That other Zoe was kind of rough. I wasn't like expecting like another blocker there. I thought I was gonna be able to put him down to one. Uh, but it's it's really like this turn, right? So like, can they kill me? It looks like they can. Oh, Noxion Fervor, what a perfect draw. We had the perfect draw with the Fervor. We had the perfect draw. Wow, we I, I played it, I you know, got the most damage like possible on them and it set up our perfect draw step. What a top deck. I was all sad and down in the dumps, but um, you saw like how, like, that was still pretty good, like, all the attacking we just did there on turn six. Like, our deck's pretty sweet. Can we defeat the best possible Zoe Lee Sin hand? If they have four mana for Deny, then they won't have enough mana for Lethal. Right? Because this is only 14. Oh, it levels up, so that's 16 damage. 16's not lethal. Oh, Nopify. So yeah, that's how they... If they have Pump Spell plus Nopify, they can win. Okay. So I'm just going to let this happen and go down to 3. Instead of... Because Pale Cascade, Pale Cascade, Nopify would kill me. So instead of allowing them to have that... Cool. What's up, Death Sand? Now this, you know, I still get to play Leviathan and Fervor. Act free of doubt. Yeah, 
to get Transfusion. I guess, I think they just drew that Pale Cascade this past turn. Like, they didn't have that Pell Cascade last turn. So this puts them to one. So they're just dead. Because my my Powder Monkey's still going to die at the end of the turn. Only cowards hide in machines. There we go. Wow. So we didn't even need to cast that Fervor. But, you know, they didn't. That was a perfect draw for me, but they just didn't have the ability to kill me at that Lee Sin, surprisingly enough. Alright, Zoe again. Zoe Draven uh, this time. Lots of Zoe so far today. Lots of Zoe. This one's gonna be the aggressive version. Let's mulligan that. We'll mulligan the Sprayfin. I, I, I don't know. Sprayfin's really good. You know, it's the elusive. And and block and stuff being elusive. Like, both Vladimir and Sprayfin are very good, but they're also four and five mana cards. Um, so I maybe need to just, like, send them back and, like, you know, look for cheaper stuff. And we probably... Yeah, we'll just send them all back. We'll probably find that kind of stuff also. Is it third straight opponent that plays turn one Zoe? Attack for one? The last two opponents... Yeah. Three straight. <laughs> they have the attack token turn one and turn play turn one Zoe attack. Three straight. The biggest reason to wait is them having a second Zoe, so that I would do that like during combat. The reason not to wait is not allow them to have other kind of uh, you know, draw into other kind of protection. The party has a rat. Uh, All right, so they're gonna have Draven next turn. So Draven's gonna hit me. I'll have the Crimson Curator block these things. Oh, but they're gonna have Spinning Axe to kill my Crimson Curator though. So maybe I just go Fortune Croaker instead of Curator? See if I go Fortune Croaker, the next turn I have four plus one. So this I just have four. Hmm. I found my family, my blood. Let me go with the Curator. Is awesome. Fine. Fine. Time for the money makers. All right, so sideways. That was their turn four? House Spider Battlecaster? Ouch. Ouch. I could honestly see doing this the other way and killing the Battlecaster with their ability to go wide. I guess I had to been good. I, yeah, I guess I had to do it the other way. Wow.
Yeah, and I guess I could have just blocked a three-two instead of the two-two, shouldn't I? But I, I still would have been dead. I still would have been gone down to zero. But I, yeah, I should have just, I should have blocked the Draven and then sh shot the Battlecaster. Another great hand. We ran into our last three opponents had absolutely amazing hands. All three of them had turn one Zoe attacking, and they all had, I mean, perfect hands. We ended up defeating the Lee Sin deck. Got pretty lucky there. So I think I was, I was very impressed by our deck though. So three and two, considering. Uh, those losses with how good of a hand like our opponents had like you know when you think about like the percentage of like just like the variance of hands they can have those hands are definitely like the, that game three game five and the game four all, all three of those game three four and five like those are all within like the top five percent you know, like they may not be absolutely the most perfect thing you can have but I think that all three of those were probably in the top five percent of like what their what their deck does and like what what they would want and uh you know we were uh we, we went one and two in those games and that's just kind of how it, how games are right like you don't usually beat like if like you don't usually beat decks with the top five percent of of hands like right like those those are difficult um but i really like so i really like this deck basically i like the consistency that we had between all five games all five games like we had like uh we had some good stuff going on I really liked how uh, every time we played Vladimir or Swain, they were just immediately leveled up. Um, and I think that I think that we can put some good pressure on opponents. And like whenever they don't have the top five percent of hands, I think that we have a real good shot of winning. And then we have like the Leviathan at the top end. Uh, didn't get to really have like the special Citrus Courier uh, type thing, even though game two, you know, we did get to use the Citrus Courier to win, but wasn't anything like super special. But um, yeah, I think I think this was pretty good. I think the Monkey Idol was was a card that we were missing last time whenever we played this, like a, like two months ago or so. Whenever we did before, I didn't have Monkey Idol. I think that's what we were missing, and I didn't have Demolitionist or Monkey Idol. And I think that those two cards added in a lot. Um, and yeah, yeah, we were playing against the Tier One decks. We won against some Tier One decks, and and uh, um, yeah, lots of Zoe's. I think Zoe, like Turn One, like Attack Token, Turn One Zoe. Is very good and then they had like perfect stuffs following that up those last three games and so um, i'm proud that we got one of those three and so this is this is one where you can really see the like the three two record is a very good record and also um i would be you know pretty confident in doing pretty well with this moving forward i i don't know i liked i liked how this deck looked um it took some it took some really great hands from our opponent to from our opponents to defeat us like hands that like not decks like other decks don't really beat anyway all right so those those y'all watching later on youtube if you want to play a vladimir deck and you want to play something different give this a try i really like this one i think this could be a, a really good vladimir uh you know vladimir deck as far as like trying to find a, a good vladimir deck i like this i think this is you know maybe the one that i would probably recommend like i haven't like really ever had success with like the freljord vladimir decks I do like Misfortune Vladimir, which is similar to this, but I think I like I kind of liked this version more a little bit more with Leviathan and Swain. Um, it looked good. Yeah, the Monkey Idol, a good blocker, good attacker, and also a good way to turn on Plunder for both Swain and a Citrus Courier, especially Citrus Courier. You got to be able to turn on that Plunder, and so the Monkey Idol kind of fits perfectly there uh, with with everything. Yeah, I liked that card a lot. So there we go. Give yeah, give this a try for a Vladimir deck. All right, those, and also those y'all watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave those comments. Those comments really help out the channel, and you know, let me know how the deck goes. Let me know how you like the video, the different games, the um, you know, the deck. If you try it out yourself, how how does it go for you? Does it you know does it work out well? You know that kind of stuff. Love seeing those comments. But um, also want to say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that, and I will see you for the next video.